Hi guys, Rebecca Creates here. So this is a quick Dollar Tree haul. I didn't get too much. Um, I went into my local Dollar Tree just to look around because I haven't been shopping much with everything happening here in New York. Um, so I picked up some of the basic stuff from the Crafters Square section. My local Dollar Tree now has like half an aisle of Crafter Square stuff, which here, you know, in New York, there really weren't many of them that carried it. But anyway, so I just grabbed whatever I could find. I had, I saw these pop dot adhesives. These are the little square ones. And these are good for like when you're doing embellishments and things just to give it dimension. I got another three pack of this tape. It says pop dot tape, but it's actually just foam tape. And it comes in the three sizes. I love that little skinny one. I always um, run out of that skinny one. And then there's, I think it's like um, quarter inch, half inch, and maybe, I don't know, a little bigger. Anyway, so yeah. Oh, it says there quarter inch, 0.37 of an inch, and then half inch. So yeah. So that's good. I mean, for a dollar, you can't go wrong. That's pretty good. And then from the party section, I saw these hanging and it says zipper seal bags. Actually, so I wanted to check it out because I picked up the, the crafter square ones and they're like a three by four or something. I'm sure these are flimsy. Yeah, these are really flimsy. And oh, do they all say that at the bottom? They all say made in China at the bottom in the green briar, which sucks. I mean, you can't see it really from far, but I thought this size was good for like bag toppers. Let me see, do I have one here? I don't. But these are the doilies that I use for bag toppers. So folded in half, that seems about right. So not bad. I mean, if, if you're putting in just, you know, some embellishments and, and whatever, it should be fine. But for something durable, and this was 40 bags for a dollar, a little better than the rese resealable ones you get for cards, which is what I've been using um, for my embellishments. Okay, I'm just going to put those off to the side because I can't get it back cl closed. I found this also. So these jump rings, which I thought was pretty cool. They're a little smaller than the ones I have in my stash. Um, point, oh, six millimeter. So this is perfect for hanging like off the top of um, your little charms and things. You could put this little jump ring if you want to um, put a ribbon through it or something. And then they did have lobster claws. It looks like just a little bit, but guys, 12 for a dollar, that's a pretty good price. This was the only one or I would have grabbed a few of them. Um, because if you're doing like I did with um, charms, you know, and you need a bunch of them. So like if you make 20 or 30 charms, it could get expensive to put a lobster clasp on each one. But I kind of like putting a lobster clasp on each one. So 12 pieces is pretty good. So I also found these seed beads. I hadn't, I've purchased seed beads from them before, but they were in a different shaped box. I got this one because it had the, the straight beads. You see how they're like, not like the little seed beads. So it had those, those three colors, the blacks and whites in those bugle beads is what they're called. And then these bigger ones, which may be for shakers or something. So I picked that up and then... Um, the Halloween stuff I got a set of these I didn't hold these last year but I wanted to paint it and maybe stamp on it or something um, to create the packaging for um, an embellished like binder mail that I'm doing so I picked that up I also saw these and I decided to pick them up I just thought they were cute um, all these little black ornaments I thought I could hang them like off of some ribbon or something on packaging um, and maybe these matte ones could be painted. So I thought if I could paint those like a nice pastel pink or something and then hang them with the black ones, um, it would be fun for packaging. So I picked that up from the Halloween section. And they started putting Christmas stuff out, which shock um, for me is a shock anyway, because it's still technically a September, right? Um, and usually we don't get our Christmas stuff till way late or any of our seasonal stuff. It comes out way late, 
but these were hanging on an end cap which is where they started doing Christmas and while I was online I saw it so I just grabbed it because I'd never seen these in my Dollar Tree I've never found any of the red truck stuff at my Dollar Trees so I grabbed that and I even thought I could alter this and make it into a pink truck and use it for some um, pink Christmas stuff right then from like the beauty stuff I've been looking for something on my wish list um, it's like this big silicone ring that you kind of put between your fingers and it has an opening for your nail polish bottle so like you could stick your nail polish bottle into the thing and then you'd have it like that between your fingers while you're painting your nails right um, can't find that. I've been to like three or four Dollar Trees in my area and I can't find it, but I'm still hunting for it. That's part of the fun, right? So in the beauty section, um, I hadn't seen this. Wow, it's been a few years since I found Sally Hansen stickers, but I love these nail effects polish strips. And these go for $10 in Rite Aid and stuff. Um, I love the way these look and of all the, the stickers and things you can buy, like those sassy and chic or whatever, these Sally Hansen ones, they're not like stickers. They really do stick to your nail and you need nail polish remover to get them off. So I love these. This was the only pattern they had. It's like a book pattern. It's okay. It's fun. For a dollar, I was not going to leave them. So I grabbed both that I found and there was one gel polish in this teal time. I've never seen or not in years the Sally Hansen gel so I picked that up I do have a gel um, lamp I also found this these are bra converting strips so basically um, you can put this on your bra straps behind your back to make your bra look like a halter right for tank tops and stuff they had a bunch of like pasties and things and I'd never seen stuff like that at my Dollar Tree so I was like okay let me pick it up it's a two-pack for a dollar you can't go wrong right yeah oh and it says if you're a large cup you could use both for extra support which I am not so one will be just fine for me so I picked that up and then the last thing was something on my haunt list and I really wanted it during the summer when we were quarantined and bored but um I had never seen it. This is the first time I've seen it. And you probably um, all have seen this. This is nothing new. But these are the tie-dye bottles. And they had quite a lot of them. So I was able to get one of each color. I think these are all the colors that they make. Six different colors. So there's a lot of tie-dye kits like on Amazon and stuff for, for like 20 30 even 40 bucks. So if, guys, for 6 bucks you get each color and it's it's pre packaged for you so the powder is in there and everything i believe you just add the water and then shake it up and then you can start dyeing um and if one bottle does one shirt then if you do all six at the same time you can do like some rainbow shirts and stuff and um get quite a, a few shirts out of it right so i did pick up all six colors you guys let me know are there any colors i didn't find yeah so not sure if i'll use that um to tie dye anytime soon but maybe for a weekend project or something or maybe i'll, I'll hang on to it um, for next summer but yeah that was my little dollar tree haul again like i said i hadn't been to dollar tree in a while um just because new york is kind of scary with everything happening with the pandemic and um for that all i do have to say is wear your masks guys seriously like wear your masks it's pretty scary out there and be safe, everyone. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.